Hello and Assalamu alaikum. So this is continuation of lecture number 16 and in this uh, part of the lecture I will describe uh, the polycrystalline and semi-crystalline silicon. So uh, basically uh, as compared to the previous technique uh, uh, which was um, the regular ar uh, arrangement uh, the single cr uh, crystalline uh, silicon structure uh, the polysilicon uh, and semi uh, uh, crystalline structures are relatively fast and low uh, lower cost uh, processes molten sil uh, silicon cast in ingot from uh, multiple crystals with seeds in parallel are heated and uh, lower conversion efficiency and low cost per watt electricity uh, Compa as compared to the single uh, crystalline cell is achieved. Uh, polycrystalline and semi uh, crystalline structures, uh, uh, crystal structures is not uh, perfect and it is uh, basically somewhat uh, random structure and it cannot uh, degrade further in manufacturing process or in uh, operation process. Over, uh, and uh, this type of uh, crystals are basically overtaking commercial market and comes in both thick and thin films. Polycrystalline uh, uh, silicon or multicrystalline uh, silicon, uh, these are also called uh, the polysilicon or poly SI, SI for silicon, is uh, uh, a high purity uh, poly polycrystalline form of silicon used as a raw material by the solar photovoltaic and electronics uh, industry. Polysilicon is uh, produced from uh, metallurgical grade silicon by a chemical purification process uh, which is uh, known as Siemens uh, process. This process uh, involves uh, distillation of volatile silicon compounds and their decomposition into silicon at higher temperatures. An emerging alternative process of uh, refinement uses a fluidized bed uh, reactor. The uh, photovoltaic industry also produces upgraded uh, metallurgical grade silicon uh, basically known as UMG silicon using metallurgical instead of chemical purification process. When produced for the electronics industry, polysilicon contains impurity levels of less than one part per billion, while polysilicon, uh, solar grade silicon, SOG silicon, is uh, generally uh, less pure as compared to the UMG silicon. The polysilicon feedstock uh, large uh, rods usually broken into chunks for uh, specific purpose. They are basically broken into chunks of specific sizes and uh, packaged in clean rooms before they are being shipped is uh, directly cast into multicrystalline ingots or submitted to a recrystallization process to grow single crystal balls. The products are then sliced, uh, uh, sliced into thin silicon uh, wafers and used for the production of uh, solar cells. Integrated uh, circuits and other semiconductor materials also use this type of uh, process uh, in their um, manufacturing. Polysilicon consists of small crystals, uh, they are also known as crystallites, giving the material its typical uh, metal flake effect. While polysilicon and multisilicon are often used as uh, synonyms, uh, multicrystalline usually refers to crystals uh, which have larger than 1 millimeter structure. Multicrystalline solar cells are the most common types of solar cells in fast growing photovoltaic market and consume most of the worldwide produce 
silicon produced polysilicon now i will discuss uh, briefly about the polysilicon uh, uh, polycrystalline structure also versus uh, monocrystalline uh, structure of silicon in uh, single crystal silicon also known as monocrystalline silicon the crystalline uh, framework is homogeneous which can be recognized by an uh, external curl uh, even external curling uh, basically the color texture is uh, throughout the same the entire sample is one single continuous and unbroken crystal as its structure contains no grain boundaries uh, large silicon crystals are rare in nature and uh, can be uh, difficult to produce in a laboratory using uh, the recrystallization processes in contrast in an amorphous uh, structure the order in atomic position is uh, limited to uh, short uh, range polycrystalline and paracrystalline uh, phases are composed of a uh, number of smaller crystals or crystallites uh, polycrystalline silicon or semi uh, crystalline silicon poly uh, silicon or poly as i or simply uh, they are referred as poly is a material consisting of uh, multiple small silicon uh, uh, crystals polycrystalline uh, cells can be uh, recognized by the visible uh, grain uh, metal flake effect uh, semiconductor grade also solar grade polycrystalline silicon is converted into single crystalline silicon meaning that uh, the randomly associated uh, crystallites of silicon in polycrystalline silicon are converted into a larger single uh, crystal single crystal uh, silicon is basically used to manufacture most of the silicon based microelectronic devices Molo polycrystalline uh, silicon can be uh, as much as 99.99% pure ultra, ultra pure poly is used in the uh, semiconductor industry starting from the poly rods that are uh, basically 2 to 3 meters in length 